<laughs> what to do, you two? It's your girl Kadisha back at it again. What is up, S Mafia? It's your girl Khadija back with another video. And as you guys can tell by the title, I am going to show you guys my workout routine that I do to get my booty nice, big, round, cuff, you know. Oh, you see. To get what it is today, okay? So today me and my boyfriend are go, we're at the gym and we're just gonna show you guys my um basically my, my booty workout routine to help anybody that wants to grow their booty get their booty nice i've been working on getting my booty more cuffed okay so i'm gonna show you guys and yeah but before we get right into the video make sure you like comment and share this video if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and yeah let's get right into the video oh wait wait before we do i just want to say me and my boyfriend are recording on my iphone so the picture is going to be different so i'm using my camera to do the intro and yeah you got anything to say nope let's get it niggas do two pull-ups don't know how to act <laughs> The first thing I like to do when I go in the gym is um, hit the Stairmaster. Um, I like to warm my legs up doing this. And as you guys can see, I'm walking up side to side. I really feel this workout in my butt because just you're walking up side to side at a bad angle and it's really targeting your glutes. Okay guys, after I do the Stairmaster, I like to come over to the Smith machine. I like to squat heavy because one, squatting heavy really does help with the your gaining of your legs, the gaining of the strength of your legs. Um, and as you guys can see, each time I'm going down for a squat and I'm coming back up, I am squeezing my butt. I have, always squeeze your butt when you're doing a squat so you can feel that squat, you can feel that burn, okay? After I get done squatting heavy, I grab a resistance band and put 145 on each side of the Smith machine and I grab a bench and pull it closer to where my butt can touch. Uh, this helps with people that are trying to that squat heavy like myself to get you, give yourself that extra boost when you're squatting without the bench um, so you can push yourself up. And as you guys can see, as I'm coming up, I'm still getting that squeeze. You always want to squeeze your butt with everything you do to fill it in your glutes and help it just be toned <laughs> okay you guys i love doing this workout it's called the hip thrust um as you guys can see i still have the resistance band wrapped around me and every time i go up i am holding and i'm squeezing as you can see i hold for a second and squeeze um this workout really helps with your hamstrings and of course your butt i definitely feel it in my lower butt um give this workout a try this is just at a lower angle um as you guys can see i'm going up and squeezing I would really recommend everybody do this workout. Um, I really love doing it. It's really a burner. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is the same uh, hip thrust workout, and this is for people that do not like using the Smith machine. Um, as you can see, I still have the resistance band wrapped around me and have a 30-pound dumbbell weight on me, and I'm still going up, squeezing, getting that full same effect as you feel. I feel it in my hamstrings and in my butt, so this is good for beginners, too. Okay, you guys, so this next workout I'm doing is called deadlift. Now, I know deadlift, you can work on two different parts, but I'm working on my legs doing this deadlift. Um, as you guys can see, when I'm going down and I'm coming back up, I I'm holding and squeezing my butt um, this workout works your hamstrings it is so important to work and target your hamstrings because you can jump higher with hamstrings you have a lot more muscle with your hamstrings like who doesn't want a strong hamstring okay guys this is another hamstring workout I like to do um, as you guys can see I put my toes close together and I do this on the machine too because when you do that you feel the middle of your hamstring the middle of that muscle pulling and it puts more strength on that middle muscle of your hamstring um that is a hard muscle to work out not a lot of people work that muscle out i re really recommend you try this okay so this next workout is for people that do not like to squat on the smith machine this is another way of squatting um i just grab a little back handle thing that people use for their back um i have my feet pointed out like i'm squatting and i have it at a weight that i can maintain as you guys can see i'm still going down and squeezing you will still get that same effect as if you're squatting at the smith machine this is just for people that are not comfortable squatting at the smith machine you're still going to get the same effect
Okay, guys, if you really want to feel burned, make sure you guys do the hip abduction. This one really does tone your whole booty. When I say it tones your whole booty, you will feel it. Make sure you do it at a weight that you can maintain and you just push. When I tell you, you, you will feel this one, you will feel this one. I really do like the hip abduction. This is a good workout. Okay, you guys, I like to finish my leg day workout with these box jumps. This is actually my first time doing a sit-down box jump. I'm like doing the box jump because at the end of my workouts because I like to push myself when I'm really tired to see how high I can jump, to see how many times I can jump. Um, it's a good finisher for me. Um, I really enjoy it. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. And yeah.